my name is Ian Jackson. I'm at my studio at Surf in Leeds and I'm part of the YSI Sculpture Network. My work is about these collections of dislocated objects. Currently, my investigations follow limestone, a vein of limestone that runs from South Shields down to Nottingham, London plane tree bark, and the London plane trees, which dictate and are used in public space around the city, and zinc used in historic building restoration and hot dip galvanization processes. So I think my practice involving the video and the collected dislocated objects and writing was an attempt to create a more generous way of making artwork that gives people different roads into understanding the work and approaching ideas from different directions. I think I became much more interested in working with objects that had potential and could be developed in different directions but were also more economical in their means. There were things that existed but then could be reused and repurposed and reshown without necessarily using them up or becoming like exhaustive. So for instance the the plane tree is a good example when it's in uh, a park as a tree delineating public and private space is meant to not really be recognized although it is a very visible part of that cityscape whereas when the wood has kind of been processed, cut and milled and dried out it can then go into other objects and be used to make different things like tables and chairs where it kind of disappears into those objects. For me having this kind of dislocated truncated and cut through piece of a tree in a gallery space to be used as seating to watch a film kind of emphasizes the awkwardness of this material at, at the point at which it's most visible but then also kind of keeps it open to be used in different ways in the future I haven't used it up or changed it so much that it can't be repurposed I think like something that could be interesting is trying like reintegrate these into like another building or architectural structure as like mementos so they kind of just get like seamlessly put into back into architecture if that's extruded all the way up then that's how you kind of get these shapes from the face and then this would be the kind of back side of the wall you kind of can see all this. It's quite like crystalline. There's like another work that I want to make actually, because this when stonemasons are drawing onto stone and things, they use um, the stone itself to sharpen the pencils. In the film, you see these stones with like pencil lines on and things. So I think there's like a work in that somewhere. But you can kind of get the when the light hits them it has like the proper positive negative and then just cut out the kind of profile by hand. These are the, the die cut paper. So they have the face plates and then they're kind of stacked. So it's again like the idea of the multiple kind of coming in, like pushing that back into like 3D space. And then these kind of tessellate to kind of form, they kind of all fit together.